The Chinese government is making strong commitments to improve the quality of the nation's environment. China is also taking great responsibility to address pressing global issues. The prime example is China's pledge to become carbon neutral before 2060. To achieve these goals, China is making an unprecedented investments in research and development. At the School of Environment, we are developing new technology and practical solutions to ensure the health and the well-being of the public and the ecosystem at home and abroad. The School of Environment was established in 2015. Today, we have more than 60 full-time faculties, including a member of U.S. National Academy of Engineering and an EDU Fellow. They are conducting cutting-edge research in almost all areas of environmental science and engineering. The School of Environment can be loosely grouped into three focal areas, uh, hydrology and water resources, pollution control and remediation, global environmental change. Uh, for the focal area of hydrology and water resources, we study the hydrological cycle in the environment and uh, assess the sustainability of water resources in response to the human activities and global change. Second uh, is the uh, eco-hydrology, or where we study the complex interplay between hydrological and ecological processes, and then uh, try to come out the uh, management strategies. And the third uh, research direction is water quality, uh, we, where we study the, the very complex natural and also anthropogenic uh, processes that affect water quality, from molecular scale to all the way to global scales. We have a special team in our school on global environment change, including global climate change, extreme events, air pollution, water security, ecological restoration, and biodiversity. We study biogeochemical changes by using big data, field monitoring, and computer models. We are playing a very important role in helping international organizations. We are helping preparing the ongoing six IPCC climate change assessment report. We are also helping the Chinese government to prepare a national standards on ecological restoration for ecosystem management and also for mitigating global climate change. We have faculty who work on air pollution, water pollution, and also soil pollution. We use field investigation, we use models, we use these fancy laboratory <laughs> instruments. So extending essentially our ability to understand how pollutants move around in nature, and this way we can contribute to uh, the pollution control uh, measures. Ozone is emerging as a very important urban air pollutant. So we have faculty members looking at how they form uh, in Shenzhen, for example, and therefore we can control lower the ozone level to protect human health. I work on a very poisonous uh, chemical, arsenic. It's in a lot of our well waters, particularly in rural areas. By coming up with ways to reduce our exposure to these uh, very toxic chemicals, uh, we can protect human health and benefit people's lives. Five years ago, our Shenzhen government decided to invest about 100 billion RMB, 15 billion US dollars, to clean up our waterways and water quality. Our researchers work closely with the city of Shenzhen to develop exciting new technologies for solid waste treatment and recycling, soil and water pollution remediation, smart environmental monitoring networks, high-resolution urban air quality models, sponge city infrastructure. Nationally, we have been studying the groundwater issue in North China Plain, one of the areas in the, in the world with the lowest water resource per capita. Uh, people have been pumping uh, groundwater to meet the irrigation and, and drinking needs, so the water table has been declining very rapidly, causing all kinds of environmental problems. Our group tried to understand how the groundwater and surface water interact and how to uh, optimize. What makes our school stand out, people call Shenzhen Silicon Valley of China. So a lot of people are very attracted to, to Shenzhen for this uh, innovation. Also, Shenzhen has been developing so fast. They have a very significant resources. We can attract talents and also we have significant sustaining uh, support from 
uh, Shenzhen government. We were able to recruit globally. We have a faculty member from some of the best universities in the world. And third is uh, we adapt this uh, environmental earth system approach, multidisciplinary approach. Sustec is a really great place to be, particularly at this time when China faced all these great environmental challenges. So we really like to welcome students from elsewhere in the world, uh, among the AGU community, to come here and study to find solutions to these environmental problems. I majored in environmental science. Hopefully I'll become a hydrogeologist in the future. My research might be helpful for the whole complicated system. We are analyzing the environmental big data, such as the, the environmental hotlines, uh, human sensors, and the social network. And we're trying to reveal the, the patterns of the environmental pollutions. My recent uses artificial intelligence and big data to address challenging water and environmental problems. Big data and artificial intelligence bring brand new opportunities for environmental research. So I'm very excited about what I'm doing now in this interdisciplinary area. My research topic actually is about the uh, environmental fate and pollution prevention of the solid waste, especially in the uh, working in the plastic waste and their uh, impact on the human health. My research focuses on forest fragmentation and impacts on biodiversity. It gives me the opportunity to devote my research towards the preservation of the glorious biodiversity that we have here on this planet.